Welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. When I presented my videos for the Truckee layout build I got a lot of inquiries about the connectors that I was using to hook up the feeder wires to the buses. So I thought this time round I would show these products off again. I don't have any connection with the manufacturer. I don't get any kind of a kickback if you buy it. I'm just doing this because I found the product easy to use and I like them very much. So without further ado, let's head out into the workshop and show you what I use. To connect my feeder wires to the bus wires below the bench work, I'm using Posi Taps. It is item number PTA1218M and this is the 500 pack because it's the cheapest way of buying them. They are really easy to use. So let's just climb under the layout now and install some. Okay, here we are underneath the bench work. I have my orange and brown bus wires and I have my orange and brown feeders. You'll see at the moment they are a lot longer than they need to be. That's deliberate because wasting a few inches of wire is not a big expense. But it's a lot more time consuming to come back and put a longer one in. Posi taps have a grey end and a black end. The grey end needs to be taken off completely. I then insert the legs over the wire and screw the main barrel back on again. And just keep screwing until it's tight. If I show you a little bit closer, here is the grey piece with a pair of legs and the black bit has a spike in it. Now as I screw the pieces back together again, that spike pierces the wire. And makes positive contact. Now the other end it will come out completely but we don't need to we just unscrew it slightly and now what I'm going to do is take the three wires of the same color and insert them all into the same posi tap. Start by cutting them all to the right length as you can see I only cut about two or three inches off each one So I start by bearing the ends. Now I twist them together so they make good mechanical contact. And now I'm going to insert that twisted end into here. Now you have to feel it in until it's got past the uh, the, uh, the metal bit. Now I just screw it up together and test that connection and that's a, an electrical connection that will never give you any trouble Let's repeat it one more time with the orange wires you can see here that I've offset the two because I think it works a lot better that way And there's another one. That's a lot easier and quicker than having to mess around with a soldering iron upside down where you're likely to get molten solder dripping in your face. As I may have said earlier, these connectors are quite expensive, even in the bulk pack they're at about 60 cents each. But I think the saving and effort is well worth it. Well that's all for this week. I hope this video was useful, even though it was short. 
hope to see you again next week. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Need to bear the ends of the wires and then since I'm putting three into one I twist the ends together because that will make it a lot easier to ensure I got good contact on all three of them. So I unscrew the end push them in nice and firmly and then screw the things tight together and that one didn't go in right probably because I'm on camera <laughs>